You know, I'm something of a pretty big Attack on Titan fan myself. It's only my second favorite series of all time, so when I see pretty good CGI mixed with a pretty good 2D animation, it makes me mad. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna go attack the creators for ruining my experience, because that's the sensible thing to do. Even though they're adapting the story almost word for word, bar for bar, I just can't get past how awful this looks. But that's not even the worst part. The opening is trash. This is what I would say if I had no brain. This shit's fucking fire! So, you don't like the CGI in Attack on Titan's final season. Well, me neither. Don't hit the dislike button yet, please. I worked hard on this video. Remember, CGI is a preference thing. You either hate it, love it, or don't mind it. Generally, when you're watching a 2D animated show, you're probably gonna prefer that it stays consistent 2D. So when something is CG, you're probably gonna notice and you'll either get really annoyed or you're just gonna notice it and move on because it doesn't really bother you. Or you're a weirdo who gets off to seeing CG and 2D mix, but hey, you know, I don't, I don't know why you would think that, that seems kind of weird, but you know, you do you, man. The point is that CG in anime is neither good nor bad. It is a matter of preference, so there is no right or wrong answer. However, even if it is an opinion, I would say that it is definitely a problem. Allow me to take you back to the year 2013. Attack on Titan has taken over the world, reaching heights never before seen. I mean, even Americans were proud to say that they watched Attack on Titan. And we're talking about the year 2013 here. Back then, I was scared to say I watched Naruto. Kids were ruthless back then. Pretty much the only acceptable anime you can watch was just Dragon Ball Z. But anyway, back to the point. The first season of Attack on Titan was unique amongst its later seasons because it was the only season that didn't feature a single CGI'd Titan. Even the Colossal Titan was 100% hand-drawn. Now, I didn't look up the details, but I imagine this is because the animators had less pressure and much more time to fine-tune all the little details and animating everything. It was perfect. Then came Season 2. Season 2 brought forth the first appearance of the dreaded CG Titan. I don't exactly remember the reaction of fans, but personally, I couldn't fucking stand it. Luckily, it was only an episode or two, and it was only for the Colossal Titan. So overall, it was still a pretty good experience. Season 3 followed suit, by only making the MASSIVE Titans CG. And the normal Titans just stay measly 2D cause they're losers. Which personally, I was fine with that. If they were gonna make anything CG, I'm glad it was just a massive stiff zombles instead of the small boxing titans. But everything has changed now, now that we've reached Attack on Titan's final season. As I'm sure you are aware, Attack on Titan's production studio has changed. It was handed over to MAPPA from Studio Wit. And a lot has changed with the animation since switching over to MAPPA. It's not all bad though, Ch change doesn't mean bad, things have just changed. Obviously the biggest change is what we've been talking about this entire time. We went from only the Colossal Titan being CG to every Titan shifter being CG. On the bright side, even though all the Titans are CG, the CG itself is so much better than it was in previous seasons. I mean, it's definitely noticeable, just not absolutely disgusting to look at. The overall animation itself, you know, the, the 2D kind, is pretty good and smooth. The most jarring thing is just that, it's just the CGI. But that begs the question, why is it all CGI? I seriously doubt the animators started working on the season with the goal of making the best goddamn CGI titans this here planet's ever seen. I'm sure they wanted this season to be perfect just like the rest of us wanted it to be. The only problem is, there was no time. You see, if we don't want our anime to have any CGI, then we have to get to the root of the problem, and that is, too much work for the animators, and not enough time. Now I'm gonna be honest, I didn't do my research to find out why this season was made in such a hurry, so this is all just speculation. But if someone knows, please let me know in the comments. 
but my guess is that Nappa just wanted to get this season out ASAP, as quick as possible, to capitalize on Attack on Titan's popularity, which in turn made the animators have to CG the Titans just so they can stay on schedule. To me, the CGI isn't the problem. The problem is what the CGI represents. The CGI is only there due to time constraints, I'm pretty sure, that were placed on the animators by the higher ups for whatever reason that I may not know of. So instead of getting mad at the animators, you dimwits, and harassing them, you should try to find a way to get the attention of the higher ups and let them know we're okay with waiting if it means the product will be the best it can be. Maybe some people will disagree with that statement, but I'm willing to bet a lot more people would agree with me. If the animators got the proper amount of time to fully produce episodes, then there would be no need to rely on CGI, and then everyone wins. No one would complain about CGI, the industry would get more money because there would be more positive reception, and the animators won't have to deal with idiots that should just be grateful that they're getting anything at all. No, the CG in Attack on Titan's final season isn't bad. But CGI in general is bad for the industry as a whole. It's bad for the consumers because in my opinion, CGI just can't compare it to 2D animation. And it's bad for the animators because so many people get ticked off at the slightest hint of CG animation, which means they'll have to deal with backlash from idiots that can't even understand basic human etiquette. So that about sums up everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would like to be more well informed on the subject, so if you have any information, please let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know how you're liking Season 4 as a whole so far. I would love to know your guys' opinions and thoughts. Just please, don't spoil anything. And I'll see you guys next time.